Hello viewers, very warm welcome to DMG Chemistry Classes and myself Dr. Mahindra Guleria, Associate Professor in Chemistry. And in this video, I am continuing my discussion on the Lee Chatelier Principle. And today, I am going to explain the effect of change of pressure on the state of equilibrium. But before explaining this, let us quickly recapitulate the Lee Chatelier Principle. And according to this principle, when a system in equilibrium is subjected to a change in concentration, temperature or pressure, then the equilibrium shifts in the, in the direction that undo or reverses the effect of change imposed. And I have explained it earlier. So now let us explain the effect of change of pressure. So friends, this factor plays a very vital role in case of gaseous reactions. Because the change of pressure have a very significant effect uh, on gases as compared to solids or liquids. And only those gaseous reactions uh, will be affected by the change of pressure which involves the change in number of gaseous moles. That is the number of gaseous moles of reactants and the products will be different. Okay, And to explain this I have considered this equilibrium reaction which involves the formation of ammonia and in this reaction one mole of nitrogen is reacting with three moles of hydrogen giving us two moles of ammonia okay and we can clearly see here or uh, in this reaction that the forward reaction proceed with the decrease in number of moles and the backward reaction proceed with the increase in number of moles because in the forward reaction we have two moles of ammonia and in the backward reaction we have four moles in total that is three moles of hydrogen plus one mole of nitrogen so we have four moles okay and I want to tell you that lesser number of moles generate less pressure and larger number of moles result in more pressure and if we increase the pressure on the system or in the reaction then according to Lee Chatelier principle the equilibrium will shift in the direction in which the pressure decreases again and as I explained that the lesser number of moles uh, produce less pressure. So the equilibrium will be shifted in the direction uh, which involves decrease in number of moles or which have lesser number of moles. And conversely if we decrease the pressure okay then the equilibrium then according to Lee Chatelier principle the equilibrium will shift in the direction in which the pressure increases again and as I said that larger number of moles result in more pressure so when we decrease the pressure then the equilibrium will be shifted in the direction uh, in which the number of moles or number of gaseous moles increases and let us understand here in this reaction as I said that the increase in pressure shifts the equilibrium towards lesser number of moles. So the forward reaction uh, proceed with the decrease in number of moles or it has lesser number of moles. So the formation of ammonia uh, will be increased by increasing pressure. Whereas the backward reaction involves the larger number of moles. So as I said that decrease in pressure shifts the equilibrium towards the larger number of moles. So the backward reaction which is the decomposition of ammonia will be favored by the decrease in pressure. So I can say that increase in pressure shifts the equilibrium towards lesser number of moles
and decrease in pressure shifts the equilibrium towards larger number of moles okay and further the pressure will uh, not have any effect on those equilibrium reactions which does not involve uh, any change in the number of gaseous moles that is the reactions in which the number of gaseous moles of reactant and products are equal so let us explain with the example so an example is in this reaction one mole of hydrogen is uh, reacting with one mole of iodine giving us two moles of hydro iodic acid okay so you can see in this reaction that is the number of moles of reactants and the products are equal in products we have two moles and in reactants we again have two moles that is one plus one that is one mole of hyd uh, hydrogen one mole of iodine and the one plus one that is two moles so in such type of reactions pressure is not going to have any effect and friends uh, this effect of change of pressure on the you know uh, state of equilibrium uh, can also be predicted by comparing the equilibrium constant with the reaction quotient as we have already discussed uh, uh, in case of the effect of change of concentration on the state of equilibrium so let us explain it and to explain this i am considering this reaction again that is the formation of a ammonia and the equilibrium constant of this reaction will be written like this that is kc it will be equal to concentration of ammonia raised to power 2 divided by concentration of nitrogen okay and into concentration of hydrogen raised to power 3 and here we have molar concentrations and these are the equilibrium concentrations of reactants as well as products so let me write this uh, reaction again here so this is a reaction that is n2 gaseous plus 3 moles of hydrogen gaseous giving us the two moles of ammonium gases okay so now let us consider that this reaction mixture is contained in a cylinder fitted with a, a frictionless piston okay so here we have this cylinder and it is fitted with this uh, weightless frictionless piston and this reaction mixture is in this cylinder which means that this reaction this equilibrium reaction is taking place here and if i increase the pressure on the reaction mixture then the volume of the reaction mixture will be decreased and if i double the pressure then the volume will be reduced to the half of its initial value let us explain that is if the initial pressure is p and the volume of the reaction mixture is equal to v and if the pressure is double that is we have now pressure equal to 2p then the volume of the reaction will be equal to vy2 
okay and this can be easily explained with the help of boyle's law and according to boyle's law we know that this you know pv is equal to constant and from this uh, expression volume will be equal to constant divided by p and now what will be the volume if the pressure is doubled then the volume will be equal to constant divided by 2p and it will be equal to half into constant divided by p and this constant divided by p is the initial volume v okay and this is equal to 1 by 2 into v that is half of the initial volume okay so in this way i have explained that when we double the pressure the volume is reduced to the half of its initial value and when the volume is reduced to half then the concentration of every reactant and the products will be doubled let us explain and we know that the molar concentration is the number of moles per liter so if uh, uh, the volume is v liter and suppose the number of moles of any reactant or the product is equal to n so in v liters in v liters we have n moles then in 1 liter we will have n upon v moles okay so this n upon v is the molar concentration that is the number of moles per liter is called as molar concentration now if the volume is reduced to half then what will be the concentration then now the volume will be equal to v by 2 liters and the v by 2 liters it will be containing n moles and in 1 liter we will have now n divided by v upon 2 this much uh, moles and it will be equal to 2 into n upon v okay that is uh, two times the initial concentration initially we will uh, we will uh, we were having n upon v moles uh, per liter and now we are having 2 into n upon v so in this way when pressure is doubled volume is reduced to half then the concentration of the every reactant and the product will be doubled so when the pressure is increased pressure is doubled and uh, the concentration is also doubled then the equilibrium will be disturbed then instead of having this equilibrium constant we will have reaction quotient okay so let us write the reaction quotient for this reaction the reaction quotient will be equal to now the concentration of every reactant and the product will be doubled so qc will be equal to 2 into the initial concentration of ammonia um, raised to power 2 divided by qc equal to okay divided by 2 into concentration of nitrogen into 2 into the concentration of hydrogen raised to power 3 and we when we will solve this mathematically then we will have qc it will be equal to 1 upon 4 into ns3 concentration raised to power 2 
divided by nitrogen concentration into the concentration of hydrogen raised to power 3. Okay, and what is this? This is the equilibrium constant Kc. So then we will have Qc is equal to 1 upon 4 into Kc or Kc divided by 4. So this clearly indicates that the value of reaction quotient is less than that of the equilibrium constant. And to re-establish the equilibrium again, the value of the reaction quotient will tend to increase. It will tend to increase until it becomes equal to the equilibrium constant Kc. And this will happen when the concentration of ammonia increases and that of nitrogen and hydrogen decreases. This means that the reaction will proceed in the forward direction because the forward reaction results in the increase in the concentration of ammonia and decrease in the concentration of reactants nitrogen and hydrogen. Okay, so from this uh, concept we can say that uh, the increase in pressure increase in pressure has shifted the equilibrium in the forward direction. And you can see here that the forward reaction is also accompanied by the decrease in number of moles. Okay, so we can conclude here that the increase in pressure uh, shifts the equilibrium uh, towards the uh, lesser number of uh, moles and likewise we can also uh, explain that the uh, decrease in pressure shifts the equilibrium uh, towards the larger number of moles. So this is all about the effect of pressure on the state of equilibrium. So thanks for watching my videos and uh, like and share my videos and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.